Hey guys, in the last video, we did a hands-on with that, the brand new 2022 Nissan Frontier Pro Forex. But look what we got next to it now. And look what we got next to the Tacoma, Andre. So Andre, what are we doing in today's video? Well, the Tacoma, this brand new one, is a segment leader. It's the best seller in the United States. And we are at the new Frontier launch here in Utah. And actually, Nissan people said that they're targeting Tacoma as their main competitor. So in this video, I want to show feature for feature Side by side, Tacoma versus Frontier. Has the Frontier actually matched or exceeded the Tacoma? Let's find out. Yeah, in our last video, Andre, people said that the uh, Frontier looks very similar to the Tacoma. So uh, let's do a quick kind of walk around and let you guys decide if they do look similar. I mean, I can see it kind of, the, you know, the squinty headlights, the big bold grill, but let's face it, all trucks kind of have that now. Yeah, and also I think you have to look at the profile and the rear, which we'll show you in a second. Uh, but I think, I mean, I, I think personally the Frontier is more squared off and the Tacoma has a little bit more curves maybe in its styling. But let's pop the hoods and let's check under the hood and check the engine. Yeah, while you do that, let me kind of walk around and show them the tails of these trucks. And by the way, these are direct competitors because over here we've got the Frontier Pro 4X. And this, of course, is not the TRD Pro, but the TRD Off-Road, which it is a direct competitor to the new Frontier. So... Here's a good look at the rear of the trucks. You can, guys can decide whether they do actually compete. And by the way, we are here just outside of Salt Lake City in Utah. And thank you, Nissan, for flying us out here and for letting us compare these two trucks. I love it when the manufacturers provide the competing vehicles. All right, Andre, yeah. so what's under the hood of the Tacoma? Well, you guys know this engine now. It's a three and a half liter dual injected engine, 278 horsepower. Uh, it's been around for a few years now, uh, good and bad, we've tested it on the mountain, towing, off-roading, all kinds of stuff, and it's made it to a six-speed automatic. You could also have a six-speed manual in a Tacoma, you can also have a four-cylinder engine in a Tacoma, but this is different. Yeah, you only get one engine in this truck, right? And yeah. it's the V6, so if you love V6s, you're going to love the Frontier, because that's your only choice. Yeah, it's kind of like peanut butter and jelly, right? So Nissan decided to kind of remove the manual transmission from this generation of the truck. This is the third gen. They did that. Uh, this is a brand new 3.8 liter V6 with 310 horsepower and 281 pound-feet of torque. So, class leading horsepower, more torque than the Tacoma, right? But of course there's other trucks in the segment, but we're gonna leave them out of this video because we only have the Tacoma in the Frontier. Well, you forgot about the Ranger, the Colorado, the Gladiator. The all right, all right, we know it. Okay. We've proved we know what they are. On the Ridgeline, maybe? <laughs> of course. Okay, but this is um, also made it to a nine-speed automatic transmission. So more horsepower, a bit more torque, more selection of gearing. Uh, so potentially this could be uh, a little bit better accelerating, but we are not, you know, we're doing this with no driving impressions ahead of the embargo, which is August 10th. And by the way, if you're wondering why we're doing an embargo, it's to give the, all the journalists a chance to bring out their story at the same time. So what we do is we try to give you our first impression so you get the story first. Remember, we saw it first on the fast lane truck. All right, Andre, I think that's enough of the engines. How about those recovery hooks? Aren't those cool? I think they call that uh, lava red. Yes, so of course it's a Pro 4X, so all of them get these hooks. The Toyota has black tow hooks, so uh, decide for yourself what's better. And of course, the styling on the Frontier is all new. Uh, they have, of course, the new badging, new logos. But let's come to the side. Let's talk about um, actual real numbers for trucks. Uh, a little bit of payload and towing. Let me show you the sticker on this truck. Also, Roman, this is very unique. I don't know if you saw that, but it's got the sticker on the back. Yeah, I saw that. Which is a new package. Yeah. And this is also Pro X. You know, before we show them the inside of that, let's, yeah. let's show them the inside of the uh, Tacoma, just because... Let me in, come around. Yeah, in case people aren't familiar with the inside of the Tacoma, they should be able to see the inside. So, uh, obviously, this truck is the best seller in the marketplace right now yeah i think they sell what a quarter million a year yeah that's a lot of tacomas, that's a lot dude. of tacomas yeah so you guys love it obviously yeah. and it's so, got a reputation for being let's face it bulletproof right that's why a tacoma for instance right now did you know this andre is worth more used than new that's crazy it's hard to believe that it's an investment right now yep but you can see this the shifter is kind of tr traditional you have your traditional parking brake wireless charging this is a tier the off-road like we said this is not the top dog tier the pro you've got your storage of course here 
you've got kind of your leather seats, your smaller screen actually, all of your controls, and your four wheel drive is a knob, which is down here. Two wheel drive, four high and four low. And then you get an analog uh, and display. And a small digital screen. Yeah, yeah and a small digital screen. And a sunroof. And a so sunroof. you're getting all this for about 40 grand, give and, and take. And let's be honest, it's a little bit of a sea of black in here, right? Yeah. I mean, the only color I'm looking at right now is a JBL. But And there's an off-road uh, <laughs> yeah. red over there. And, 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 why don't you sit down in the back, see how you fit. Keep in mind, Andre is very tall. He is 6'3". Yes. Well, almost 6'3", like yeah. I always say. That's so my tight. knees are touching, my head is touching, this is kind of tight. This is a typical mid-sized truck. Yeah, is there a uh, storage underneath? Yeah, let's look. Let's take a look. I don't know, I'm holding the camera, so Hold on. you gotta figure oh, it out. Oh, it's here. There you so go. So it goes in a different way. Yeah. So. There we go. Here we go. Storage compartments underneath. Well, you've seen this before. This yeah. is where your jack is. Your jack is in. But actually, the Nissan is a little bit different. All right, well, let's let's hop inside. Well, before we hop inside the Nissan, let's look at the bed. Uh, obviously, you've got attachment points there and there, uh, bed liner. Well, this uh, is a composite bed, so yeah. Toyota's been doing this for a while, right? And actually, they've added what looks like kind of like accessory lights. Yeah. And you got your power outlet. Yeah. And actually, Nissan now has all that too. So right, let's go. Let's, let's check it out. Yeah, let's com let's go compare the Nissan yeah. truck to the Toyota truck. Let's check it out really quick. All right, here we go. Into the Nissan we go. So this is also a little bit of a sea of black, I fear. Yeah. But there is beautiful stitching right here. Pro 4X is stitched Actually, there's into no the Ford, seat. dude. So this is very unique. Oh, this, this is, is the Pro X. Yeah, Pro it's a new X. model, isn't it? Yeah, it's a new model. And I picked it specifically to show you guys because the Pro X looks identical on the outside and the inside to the Pro 4X. It just doesn't have four-wheel drive. But you can get info. You can get the Pro 4X. But you can get the Pro 4X, of right. course. Right. This yes. is the old Desert Runner, if you guys are f familiar with... Uh, but look at this. Nissan. I can actually show you. I can start it up. Yeah. It's got analog gauges on both sides. You have digital screen in the middle. You have, now have up to nine inches of screen here. Yep. Um, of course, you have your 12 volts, your USB, USB Cs, your um, heated and um, well heated seats. Yep. You know, heated steering wheel, I heated see. Heated steering wheel. And of course, check this out. Uh, a wireless, wireless phone charging, charger. And yeah. also another cubby here. Yeah. And also kind of a sea of black. Uh, you can also get um, orange accents in the interior. Here's your storage in the middle. You know, I, I'm, 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 it's remarkable how similar these two trucks are. I mean, it's like, uh, it's I think no Nissan what? probably benchmarked the Toyota Tacoma and it came up with, you know, this is what the Tacoma has, so now we have it as well. But you know what Tacoma doesn't have? What's that? Zero gravity seats. Are they, do you feel like you're in space, uh, Andre? I, I am floating in space. And actually, this is soft. If you can kind of get an idea. It, this is, is, it is very soft. This it's, is pretty soft. You know, and all the materials I touch are relatively soft and relatively nice. Yeah. Uh, I would just love a little bit of color that's all but you can get color you can get yeah. uh with the cloth seats yeah you these, these inserts become orange and look fender audio is cool yeah yeah it's also in a volkswagen it's one of my favorite audio systems all right let's look in the back ah andre move the back move the back throw it in the okay in the back of the truck so sit in here see how you fit once again nice stitching it's good stuff you know what it's more of the same my head is almost touching, my knees are almost touching, so the room is very similar. You have these cup holders here. Uh, there this is, is one feature, I was gonna say, there is one feature that the Tacoma doesn't have, and that's no. this. And don't tell them what it is yet, we'll show you at the end of this video. Yeah. It's kind of cool, but you can probably figure out what it is. Well, but... Yeah, probably. All right, look look under the seat. Uh, yeah, Let's and um, I'm locked. You're locked in, well, that's no good, Andre. Can I come out this way? How did you I lock yourself in? I think they have child in? seats. <laughs> oh, you got child, child seats? Child locks. <laughs> no, no. All right, show them under the seat before we close it. Give me the little thingy there. There you go. Look at this. Storage. Yeah. storage. Uh, you have Nissan kind of storage bags yeah. here. You've got your netting. Very similar. Um, kind of similar, but Toyota had a bigger compartment a little bit because there's also a subwoofer down there. Yeah, all right. Uh, so let me get the little box. Well, I, I can't. Hold on, I'll get it. No, you get it. I, I'm holding the camera. Why don't you get the box and show them what this is. For those of you who are Ridgeline fans, you will know that the Ridgeline has optional speakers in the bed. Well now, this is um, an optional, it's an accessory. It's a kicker stereo. Yep. You've been um, asking us how it's powered in the last video. And we don't know, so we'll just- Actually, so I believe you just plug it into a wall. And there you go, charge it. And it has a battery. Why don't, and you, then, why don't you mount it and, and show, them, you, show them how it goes. You actually use it for your camping or your yeah. <laughs> uh, tailgate experience. So you gotta look at the whole hole. There's a little clip up here and there's a little clip. Okay, I think, let me look. 
There you go. Anyway, it mounts right there, and then you've got, your, you've like got your controls up here yeah. that you can tailgate with a bode. You also have, of course, secondary mounting. These have been in Nissan Frontiers for a while. Yeah. Uh, mounting points right there. And how about auxiliary power? So it's on this side. Yeah. And also LED lights are available in this Frontier bed. So feature for feature, they're very similar. I have to talk about payload and towing, right? Yeah, that, that is um, crucial for crucial. trucks. So, on the brand new Frontier, the number is about 1600 or so, just over that for maximum payload. This is a two wheel drive truck, base model, uh, King Cab. And then it's a little bit better, actually, by a few pounds, a few hundred, a few dozen pounds in the Tacoma. How about towing? Towing is also the same story. About 6,700 pounds here, about 6,800 pounds there. So they're very, you know, very, very close. Yeah, so I guess the question now is, are you a Toyota or Nissan guy or gal? Because at this point, you know, there's very little difference between them. Last time there was a new, well, now, there was a new Nissan was 17 years ago, and now, Andre. So it's been 17 years for this truck uh, to, to, you know, kind of come and take that one on, Tacoma, yeah. yeah, head on. Uh, and guys, uh, we're here, we're getting as much experience behind the wheel as possible i think we're gonna do well it's gone there was a boat being what happened being to a boat yeah. yeah we're gonna do a so towing we'll do video towing. yep and also uh, you're probably wondering about price price is also embargoed until august 10th uh and also fuel efficiency we haven't discussed and you, you guys know that the tacoma gets about 20 combined ish and the previous generation of the interior gets about 19 ish if, if i were guessing man i'm just guessing here andre yeah i bet you that they're very similar in price and yeah, very similar they, well, in fuel economy. They have to compete. So if yeah. you look at V6 for V6, yeah. four-wheel drive for four-wheel drive, option for option, I think you will find that they want to be right, yeah. right next to each other. So there you have it, guys. Uh, direct comparison between uh, the new Nissan Frontier and the Toyota Tacoma. If you guys want to know how this is off-road, head on over to TFL Off-Road, where we just went off-roading in it for the first time. We like to call that first dirt. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, check out TFL Truck. The second we can announce, you know, MPG, and of course pricing. pricing you will know and uh yeah you saw it first where andre on a tfl truck thanks on the fast lane truck ciao